can't understand it enough. You know, I, I simply I cannot comprehend it. On an evening like this, I know I'm beneath the heavens, but for some reason I feel as if I'm living it. You have bewitched me, body and soul. So I guess we're done here then. Are you breaking up with me? More water. So wonderful to look at. It truly is a gorgeous development of life. Hey, Leo. Evening. But well, let's be real. We've seen it all. The usual: boy meets girl. Girl proposes to boy. Girl stabs boy in the chest with a knife. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I've watched it all. I've heard it all. Help. I've seen it all. Not that I'm older and wiser than you or anything. It's just natural. Hey, Leo. This here is my dad. I saw him utter "I love you" to four different women before I was out of diapers. Love him to death. See you, Dad. This is my mom. She may as well have written Nanny all herself. I saw her make five men cry in a month. Ridiculous. Oh, stop. And this is my older sister, Melissa. Back in elementary school, she used to send me her exes to cheer them up. Boys would come running across the field after she broke their little hearts. She was Zoe from 500 days before it existed. Oh, like you aren't the same. We're just a straight up family of heartbreakers. We just can't seem to find that new love story. We're not bad people for trying to find unique, unseen love. It's like Love Story from 1970. Love means never having to say you're sorry. It's not like I haven't tried to commit. I mean, Lisa and I were going great before she pointed out how different we were. I mean, we were socially from two different worlds. Come on. The notebook. Then there was Stephanie, who paid me to have lunch with her. She just needed someone to talk to. It was great. Love at last. But then she started talking to me like I was Deborah Messing. Her exact words were, I think I'd love you even if we'd never met. Straight out of the movie, like she wasn't even trying to be new. During my rodeo phase, I, uh, you know, at this point I was pretty much just ripping Hollywood off. The damage has been done, I committed multiple mistakes, blown chances if you meet someone who's committed to treating you better, getting passes for being a man, but I was your man, please can you take me back, the time we've been apart, being distant, I've been working, I've been hurting. You look beautiful. What are we doing here? We're friends. Friends can have dinner, can't they? You said we can never be friends. When did I say that? When we first met, you said a man and a woman can never be friends. I didn't say that. Did I, did I say that? Look, I said that. Why did I say that? You know, these things keep happening to me. It's not my fault. Why did I say that? 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 Why
Multiple mistakes, blown chances. If you meet someone who is committed to treating you better, get in passes for being a man. But I was your man. Please, can you take me back? Please, can you take me back? time stops when I'm here. It's like an adventure, but it's like I already know what I'm going to find. That's... P.S. Yes, I, I love, love you. you. What are you thinking about? I don't know. What really scares you in this world, Jilly? Me? I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of what I feel of what I've said, of who I am. But most of all, I'm scared of walking away and never feeling the rest of my life the way I feel when I'm with you. Thank you.